and welcome back again. Um, today we're going to be doing a, a black feathered candle and this is all the things that I'm going to make. I'm going to make also some um, other things like napkin rings. These are going to be items that I'm going to use for a upcoming tablescape which I want it to be black, white, and silver. So that is what we're starting with. We're starting with the candle um, holders. So this I got at the Dollar Tree, this cylinder, which I love and I use a lot because you could do a million things with them. Then I got this candle holder as well at the Dollar Tree, some black trim. Um, I'm not sure if they got rhinestones there. I got this at the Dollar King. Uh, also black feathers, which I got at the Dollar King. You could get three for a dollar and I got two bags. So you're going to need two bags. Um, I have already cut them. You're going to actually have to cut them in this process. You're going to need black beads, a bag of beads, which is a dollar. They, I'm pretty sure they have them at the Dollar Tree. I got them at Dollar King. And then you're going to need some type of bling. I got these, three of these. Um, this trim I'm using, this uh, is just like a keychain, but it's, it's really blingy. Then you're going to need wire cutters. Maj Paj and um, black glitter as well as a glue gun. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do here is just flip this over, take the feather. Now if you have the feather, um, you're going to have to use the wire cutter. It's going to be really long, so you're going to cut it shorter. And I actually am thinking I'm going to cut these even shorter because when I put the wrap um, it, it's going to be in, kind of in the way and I want to have a wrap right there. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off more. Maybe like that. I don't like ruining the feathers. But it's necessary. So, now we just I don't know, quarter of an inch at the bottom. And then this is actually, I think, already that short. So we're going to get the first feather and we're going to get the glue gun. And we're just going to glue down the middle of the feather. And we're going to place it towards the top, like where it's hitting the top. And then you just going to press it down. And that feather right there is it's a little crazy. You're just going to press that down, and then you're just going to do it with all three feathers. So space them out accordingly. I would say about right there. Right there. So I'm just going to put it right there. Do the same thing. Glue in the middle. Now you can put black glitter on these. I actually did try, but it didn't come out very well. It really messed up the feathers, so I said forget it. <laughs> okay, so then you flip it over there. And then the last one will go here. Now, unfortunately, this one isn't as bulky as those, so if you're getting them, you should look at the bags and make sure they're all the same. Or buy an extra bag. And if you have any excess glue like that, you can pick it off later. So that's the first step. Second step is going to be opening this. Taking these out. And then it's only this long try to peel that glue off if not well, there you go so peel the glue they have off on there and all you're going to do is cut the first two top 
um, beads. The first two at the top, I'm going to cut those off. These scissors are very dull. I need to buy new scissors. So I'm just going to try to put them directly on the black. So just do a few lines like that. And wrap it. Now if you want to use E6000 glue, that's your choice. I'm not using it personally because... This is just for video purposes. I like to reuse things. So, but if you want to keep this, I recommend using E6000 for sure. You want to attach this first or do the uh, the uh, glitter first but I'm just gonna go ahead on this one and do the glitter first so I'm gonna get my Maj Paj and my um, applicator and just start gl putting glue on this area This will definitely need E6000 if you want it to be a permanent thing. We gotta just really make sure, hoping that it's even. And you're just gonna pick off any excess glue hanging whatever okay so the next thing you're going to do with this is just take your rocks oops take your rocks and put them inside and this this will be your for candles so it's going to be really pretty when it's lit up i'm just going to add the beads 
And you probably can't see the whole thing in its entirety right now, but you will at the end of this video, so do not worry. Okay, so the next half of this project is going to be creating blingy napkin rings. Now, I want you to realize that this is going to be a series of three videos creating items for a tablescape that is going to be the colors of black, white, and silver. So that is what the purpose of these videos is going to be this one, the next one, and the third one is going to be the reveal of everything we've made and, and bought and purchased on a serious budget and how we can make this tablescape stunning without spending a lot of money. So that being said, now the first items I got are these just junky earrings that I've uh, had from years. I just had them in my jewelry box. And um, so I'm going to start with this. And what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is remove, remove these off. I think I could just bend this and take it off. Maybe even with my fingers I could bend it. Let me see. Okay, so just remove those. This is just going to be the base. Remove this. Okay, so remove those, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my silver spray paint and I'm going to paint these, and then after that we will go ahead and make them into bling napkin ring holders. Okay, so while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my second uh, idea for a napkin ring holder. Now, I got this at Z Gallery. It was on clearance. They sell these. I think they're like normally like five dollars, and I think I got it for like a dollar. So I have these left over. I have two of those left over. So I had a good idea of adding a knob. Now you can get these knobs at Lowe's or Home Depot. I got this actually for a dollar. A lot of times they have like leftover knobs. They have the boxes at the bottom, and you can find a lot of nice knobs for like a dollar, and you know on sale. So this is. The knob that I wanted to try so I'm going to go ahead and start with that it's very simple you're just going to put glue right here and then you're just going to place the knob hopefully centered it dries very quickly Okay, so now here is the next um, idea for a napkin ring. Now, I've showed this on other uh, another video. Now, I bought these two bling bracelets at the gold dollar. One's silver, one's gold and silver. And obviously, you can use these alone, and they would be just as beautiful. But I've thought of some ways to really super bling it out. So I got this um, barrette at the Dollar King. And so I'm going to show you what we can do with that barrette. So I'm going to just take it out of the package and hook it. Okay. And then also these bling diamonds, I got those at Hobby Lobby and they're not cheap. I think it's two for like, I don't know if it's six dollars or however, whatever it is, even just say it's ten dollars. You can get a 40% off coupon anytime you shop at Hobby Lobby. You just go online and type in Hobby Lobby coupon and it'll take you to their website and you, you will just uh, get the number of the coupon. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, these are actually nail cutters for my dog, but I, these are wire cutters. I'm gonna take these, because they're stronger, and I'm gonna remove this bottom barrette thing. So I'm just gonna pull, try to pull this up. Oh, there you go, easy as that. So we remove that, and now you just have that beautiful piece. And then what I'm going to do is take this bling, put a lot of glue right there, and then I'm just going to place it and then just see how beautiful that is. And then I'm going to flip that over, put lots of glue, 
all the way to the end and then I'm gonna just take this and just place it on top and then I'm just going to get each corner and just press and hold it and obviously you see for yourself how beautiful that is there's an idea for a gorgeous blingy napkin ring holder the very last is these hideous ugly earrings that I painted silver, but don't worry, these aren't going to show whatsoever. So I just went to Hobby Lobby and I got these buttons, and they're really blingy and beautiful. And if you ask me how much I've won for, I don't remember, I've had them. And I bought this, I believe it was at the Dollar King, these are just a, a little bag of bling. Okay, so my idea was going to be to tie it in to, to do a gold around, but I actually already tried it and I think it looks awful. Now I've got a clump of glue on here, so I'm going to go ahead and just clean this off and we're going to finish up with this video. See you in a bit.